Yeah, this is a 436 Driftwood Court, Marco Island. It's a uh, three bedroom, two bath, 2185 square feet under air, total of 3495 square feet. The first floor is probably not uh, insurable. Built in 2000, the west of the exposure. Go inside and take a look. Uh, this is the first floor. Uh, I'm not sure if this is insurable or not. It has a wall air condition, which is unusual. <laughs> Uh, large living area here. You could probably do everything but put a, a bathroom down here or a, um, a bedroom. And you could use for recreation. This is a nice large garage. Looks like it's unfinished, but uh, it's got hurricane shutters to go outside. This is the first floor walk in um, that has a uh, little kitchen sink. And like a mini kitchen here, it doesn't have any appliances, but like a little mini kitchen sink set up. And a storage room. All this is on the first floor. And, and uh, there's more storage in the back here. This other storage room. The water conditioner is here. The, I mean, the water heater is here. And just storage on the side of the house. Um, Let's go upstairs and take a look. Yeah, it's a staircase, carpeted staircase. Uh, well lit. So living is on the second floor of this building. Looks like all hardwood floors. A large family room, living room here with a fireplace. Very large, very high ceilings. Um, Kitchen, family room, it's all combined here. It's like a lot of counter space, oversized kitchen. Uh, huge kitchen. It's got uh, the appliances appear to be here. It's eat-in type of a kitchen. All hardwood floors again. Uh, let's go on the other side to see what the bedroom arrangement is. This is the master bedroom. Again, it's all got hardwood floors, high ceilings. Uh, doors going out to the outside, bevel glass doors going out to the outside porch. This is the master bath. It's got two uh, vanity, vanity with double sinks, a uh, large soaking tub, and the uh, shower. Also, it's a fairly good size closet here. This is off the master bedroom. Looks like it could be used as an office. It has outlets that appear to be used for an office, uh, telephone lines and internet lines. No uh, closet in this room, so it's probably an office. There is a front porch also. Got a nice bubble glass door sitting out there just to get a little sun, I guess. Um, this is bathroom number two. It has a tub. And shower enclosure, single vanity sink. Uh, this would be bedroom number three. Bedroom number three, good size bedroom, uh, good size closet. And this would be bedroom number two. There's three bedrooms, so I don't confuse you. There's three bedrooms, good size bedroom. With a, a large closet, also too oversized closet, and there is a laundry room on this room, this floor too, that goes into the closet into the other bedroom. I go out under the balcony here, but it's a large balcony. There's three very large sliding glass doors that pocket all the way out to the left, so it opens up all the way. Nice balcony or porch out here, oversized. Plenty of room to sit out here and enjoy it. It's got westerly exposure, so you'll get afternoon sun here. There's a staircase going downstairs. There's a dock, an oversized dock with a lift. Fish cleaning station. We're outside here. It's kind of overgrown a little bit out here. Staircase, wooden staircase coming down from upstairs. Um, got a patio under here. And it has like a little Koi pond looks like a little pond that's not being used right now, but large patio. Let's 
go out and check out the seawall. You know, from what I can see, I don't think the seawall is going anywhere. It's uh, been reinforced with pylons and riffraff. And my understanding is the, the riffraff will uh, secure the wall indefinitely. Uh, it uh, seems to be well protected. They might have had some problems there, but I don't think there's any further problems. We're out on the deck here. It's got a boat lift. I can't tell what the weight limit is on it. But we are in a good location. Head the end of this little alley, this canal here, take a left. And then take a right, and you'll be out under the bridge and going out into uh, the south end of the island. Any questions, please give me a call, 239-784-1963. Thank you.